Oh, who needs a... Who needs a bloody horse? I don't need a... I, I'm fit. I'm... Bee Sparkle is... Ready to... Take... Ah! Do you see, Giant Wolf? You can't stop Bee Sparkle. I'm on a holy mission. It's holy because of the... Holes I put in your face. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind. Hello? I heard word from an old woman that there's something here for me. Now, if you don't get out of the way, I'm going to come up there and I'm going to slice you. That's close enough. Very well then, my friend. Shall we carve us some dinner? <laughs> What? My name is... Huh? My name is... Hey! Ah! My name is Shiki the Shook of Beast Sparkle. Oh my. Well, this is certainly unexpected. Guess I'll just put my weapons away. They might be friendly. <clears throat> Hello, my... Nope, they're not friendly. That's a... That was a mistake. Open the door. Go on, go on. I want you to open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door! Do it! Thank you. Where did she go? Oh, the wall. Bit how grave and teleporting for me, I'll find you. Don't think that I won't. Be Sparkle's afraid of absolutely nothing. Stop run. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. I didn't know about bloody. Oh! Secret door, huh? Oh! 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 oh. Oh, 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 you're the assassin of old with the special thing that I was told to come and get? How special are you? You got yourself locked in a bloody little room. Ancient shrouded cowl, both do 35% more damage. I love it! Increases poison resistance 100%, whereas muffled and moves silently. Double sneak attack damage with one handed weapons. I love it, love it, love it, love it! Now I'm just going to, I'm just going to eat you just a little bit because you, you've been here a while, but you're probably quite delicious. Boop. <laughs> yum, 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 Delicious, very nice. Let's, let's be gone now. Oh, look, Hargrave and Feathers. I'll have them. Ah, 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 ah
The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. Send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. I must know before I venture out, did anybody say anything to make him fly off the handle? Because we're only taking one side here, so I need to know. Did you do anything? Besides giving me that very seductive look. He's cute, is he single? I like Hargonians, you know, I had a wife. She's dead now, I ate her. I've told you this before. Still you don't run, that's a good sign. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. Obeying the Night Mother. You being the listener. It's ridiculous. No offense. Well then, I understand more about the situation. I'll be back. Eventually. Maybe. Probably. Definitely. Most definitely. Yeah. Get that Argoni in a chair or something. Jesus Christ. That horse has glowing red eyes. I love it. My name is Hunkelberg Mildrew B. Sparkle. Are you to be my companion? You came out of the bubbles. The dark bubbles out of the ground. Yes, you did. <laughs> you did. I'm going to ride you now. You've got a hand on you. Who put that hat? There's very big hands on you. They're very... Almost now! Bloody hell, that's just weird. I feel at ease. Very normal. I can't help you. Ride straight. Stop it. Go that way. That direction way. Good horse. Fantastic horse. You got us here in one piece. Excellent work. Have an apple. I don't have an apple. Imagine there's an apple and then eat it. Hello, my little werewolf friend. Barefooted werewolf friend. Seems you're slightly wounded. Oh, what gave it away? Yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry. I gave as good as I got. What is life's greatest illusion? Probably the one where you get the hands together and it looks like you're removing the thumb, but you're not really removing the thumb, and it's a big old gaff, isn't it? <laughs> he's not in the mood for laughter because he's mortally wounded and he's bleeding out. Did that door just call me a hoe? What was that? There we are. Follow the trail of blood. I'm gonna take your change of clothes! Or is this a closer? Are you naked in there? I don't wanna go in if he's naked. <laughs> See his little bells. I'm opening the door! Don't jump on me and wiggle your bits in my ears or something. Huh? Please stop making noises. Just, just stop it. Just stop. There's, there's noise. There's enough of them, and they're coming through your mouth. Stop it. Stop laughing at me. Could you at least slow down a bit? I don't want to. Well, now I must admit, you definitely look better. Although I am relieved to know you're not naked. <laughs> you caught me. I surrender. <laughs> You see, here's the thing, my friend. There is a time to laugh and there's a time to die. You're closer to one than the other. But unlike you, I am no fool and I'm here to listen to both sides of the story, so if you have an explanation, please, do go on and fill my ears. Of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke. A funny joke. <laughs> Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> But lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. This is where you really failed. Sure, you went on a bit of a mad time and you started stabbing my friends and my family members, but I just gave you an opportunity to save yourself. You didn't offer me anything in return. You just said, let me live. I suppose the thing people would expect of Beast Sparkle is murder, isn't it? And I would be terribly lying if I said I was not guilty of engaging in the temptation once or twice. Like right now, for example, the temptation to put this arrow right up your nostrils or your sphincter. Maybe both at the same time. Who no- uh Oh! Has no, no! Left. I didn't- I- just lying to me! Cicero! Stop it! Humming. Mother. 
<laughs> I didn't actually want to kill him. I didn't actually- I wasn't gonna do it. Now I leave you alone here to your fate. Naked. With arrows through your dome. Honestly, I did kind of want to let you live. Well, I didn't, but I did because I thought it might be different. Never mind. I mean, you you struck the first blow. Not well, technically I did, but I didn't mean to do it. It was an accident when I sliced you. Like the accident you said when you sliced. Good! I'm glad you're dead! I'm glad you're, you stupid little jester idiot! I'm yelling at a door again. Ow, I hit the wall. Bloody hell. Is Cicero dead? I can indeed confirm that the fool is deceased. Excellent. Tell you what. Why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't going to give you back the horse. <laughs> Don't be foolish. There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. But first of all, we need to find not just where the Gourmet Chef is, but who the Gourmet Chef is, is this correct? And you don't even know, because you don't know anything, because you're a stupid, wrinkly old idiot. Don't be so petulant. I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see, to one Anton Varan. And this Anton Varan knows the Gourmet's true identity. I believe so. Hello, Mr. Chefman. How are you doing? Did you make that yourself? Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. Okay, I didn't ask, and I really don't care. This... Uh, can you go away? I've got business. I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Well, don't worry about it. If you go away, then somebody will rip his head off. Who is the gourmet chef, and where is he? I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the gourmet's identity to my grave. Well, that could be arranged. Now, now, wait a minute. His name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Nightgate Inn. Now you'll let me go, right? Of course I will, my friend. Go on. There you go. Just sweep you away. Now, you need- you must be- remain hidden. If somebody sees you, they might ask questions of why there is a corpse. Why, you little filcher? What? You're concerned that I picked up a broom and put it in my pockets accidentally? You're not concerned- By the order of the yard. Stop right there. I'd rather not. No, 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 no. Sweet roll, I'll have it. See you later! Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. You've got a lovely town in Markov here. Don't, don't, don't stab me in the eyes. What a waste of ammunition that is. Oh, the hell, there's a lot of guards around here. God, I only killed one little chef and stole the broom. What's the big deal? You can get a broom anywhere. Oh, 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 oh shut him here! <laughs> oh, the days when you fought. You had a lockdown on justice in your town of Markov a long gone. Because Hunkerberg Mill drew B-Sparkle. He wanders in wherever he shall please. He takes what he desires. What is my hand doing? Hello, my friend. I am a weary traveler. Something I can get for I you? I have a sexual perversion to orcs. Can you oblige? What I mean to say is, do you get a lot of business out here? I mean, you're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I don't imagine you'd have a whole lot of customers. The odd traveler on the road. Of course, there's the orc. Long-term tenant, that one. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake. Sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Quite, quite, quite. Well, have a wonderful day. I'm just gonna... Go over here. Anything you need, just holler. Sure, sure. I need a man killed! <laughs> Not anything. Not anything. I'm just here on holiday. Holiday, yes, of course, of course. Would you like to know a secret? Just a little one, just a little one. Soon, the Emperor will die by the hands of the Gourmet. What? The Emperor? But I, I... Oh. Oh, by the gods. No. No, no, you can't do this. You can't. I'm Hunkelberg Mildred Beesparkle. And you shall fear me, Orc Chef Man. Yeah, run. Run away if you can. Interesting life we all lead, isn't it? We try and run, we try and hide, but eventually the truth catches up to us. Eventually, we all pay the price. And the price, of course. 
is freedom. It's freedom. Go on. Be free. Go no, I'm only kidding. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> By order of his eminence, Emperor Titus Mady II, the possessor of this rite of passage, has throughout the Empire celebrated chefing off the gourmet. Oh great, fantastic. I would be a terrible fool if I didn't try and eat the gourmet. I wonder if the gourmet is as good and famous as his food, hmm? Yum 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 yum. <laughs> I can't actually eat him. That's not an option and that's, I'm very disappointed in that. Seems to me, my adorable evil eye companion, that we have. You've got an arrow in you! How did that happen? You've got an arrow in your ass as well! How did this- who did- who did this how? Was it the owner of the inn? Huh? Was it the owner of the inn? You shot my horse. And now, you will suffer. You will die. Don't hit my horse. Only I hit my horse if I want it, and I don't want to hit my horse because I love my horse out there. Was it you? Was it a combined effort? Huh? Was it a combined effort? Oh, I feel better. <laughs> ah, sure, I've taken lives, but it hasn't been quite as... <sighs> I had to go lie down, I'm quite exhausted. What a day, what a day. Thank you so much to my Patreon producers, Bear Woman, Subjected, Alec McNeil, Victor 8S, Xavier the Green, Kelly Hafen, Melissa Ferguson. Lotus of the Sun, Spencer Bissell, Textual Coast 5, Alex Mayer, Alexandra Rodriguez, Nappy9977, Joshua Cross, Cat Clone, Jackson Jokers, Wandering Khajiit, Danny Sorison, Chrissy Carver, Saracen1974, and Two Bagels.